Welcome back. I'm here with Mike Baccio of the Jenglo Sport Fishing Vessel, and he also owns Primetime 3, uh, two vessels that you could charter with Mike Baccio. Mike, wonderful to have you on the show. Tell me about how you got started fishing. What's the history behind your obsession with it? Well, Ray, I've lived on the Bay, Great South Bay, all my life, but uh, when I came out here after high school, I really fell in love with this place. First of all, the access to the fishing area is it's hard to beat. And the fishing itself, from where I came from, was unbelievable. We had flounder, blackfish, stripers, blues, everything you wanted, one mile from the dock. There we so go, baby. this place is a mecca yeah, for fishing. Baby. And it's been called the best kept secret for many years. Everyone in the world knows Montauk and Orient Point are like the destination to go fishing. Why is that? Why are these waters so special? Well, these waters have a tremendous amount of current. The water flows in and out from the Atlantic Ocean, comes into Long Island Sound, and the amount of water that passes through here, it generates tremendous feeding activities with the fish. So the fish respond to the strong current. So with the bass fishing, all you got to do is drag a bucktail through it, and bam, you got a fish on. The black fishing too, they really respond with the tide and the current. All the fishes here really respond to the current, and we have strong current here. Similar to Montauk, but I think it's actually stronger here in Long Island Sound Race and sometimes in Plum Gut. The water runs four or five knots. Sometimes when it's that strong, they don't bite, but when it slows down, they bite their heads off. Uh, Mike is a tremendous captain because he cares and he tries and Keith is a fabulous mate and we always have a good time here and I've been fishing many years, I'm 71 years old and uh, I've been fishing for a long time and I just love it. It's about peak season right now, mid-June through mid-July is definitely peak season for bass. Also there's a fall run that starts in September, October. For the last few years the spring run has been the best where you see the nice sized fish and multitudes of bass. I mean, there are a lot of trips we'll see 50, 60 bass caught. Today, I think, should be a damn good one. Oh yeah, so, you know, the, the guys that are coming on your boat, I've been interviewing them, I talked to them. These guys have been your loyal customers for 25 plus years. So, that shows me that as a captain, you're doing something right, and these guys know that when they're on the Jangalo or the Primetime 3, that they're going to walk off that boat and they're going to have some fish in their coolers. Well, you know, this business is really about people. And when you get a good relationship with people, it's just, you know, it's special. And I think that that's probably the biggest part of the business that I like, is having good relationship with the people, telling them the truth, what they're going to do in a given day, and it usually works out great. I mean, just be honest with folks, and they love it. I've been fishing with Mike for about 25 years. Uh, I worked deck in the prime time for a number of years as well. Uh, but yeah, I just love coming out here and fishing with Mike. It's a great boat. The mate's awesome. It's just a really good time. Beautiful scenery. Take a look at that vehicle, folks. It is safe. There's a beautiful galley in there. I mean, if you're looking to build, book a charter, look no further than Jenglo Sport Fishing and Prime Time 3 Fishing with Mike Baccio. It's very comfortable. She's very wide and beamy. I call this boat the old shoe because it's been worn by several captains and a lot of clients. And the number one question I asked the old owner was, how many years did you run it? And how, how many trips did you do a year? And how did the boat perform for you? And he told me, he says, it's been flawless. The boat always ran and she always got me home. And I said, that was the number one thing I wanted about the boat. A boat that could get me back in almost any weather. We call this place God's country, but it's gorgeous. And it's very, I would have to say that it's not fished that hard when it comes to how many boats are in an area. There's a lot of, a lot of area to fish and not a lot of boats fishing it. And that appeals to a lot of guys. And the place is beautiful. I hope the fog lifts today so we get to see the, the area. But it's, we're, we're nestled between the North Fork and the South Fork and we have the advantages of both. So we have the Bay, Gardner's Bay, Peconic Bay. We have Block Island Sound. We have the Atlantic Ocean, and we of course we have Long Island Sound. Long Island Sound is tremendous. I mean, it's our our fishing area is probably 180 degrees of the compass. 
we're able to fish in almost any weather. That's the other part that's really good. Is we're able to get out all the time, as long as it's not blowing a gale out of the east. And that really keeps us at the dock. So Mike, let's say my friends and I want to book a charter or someone's looking online, they find you. What's the best way for them to get in touch with you? My cell phone is always there. Call me, text me. You can check the website, but right, like right now we're, we're using Facebook predominantly for all the information. So if you have any questions, call me or text me directly. 631-432-4133. I'll pick up the phone. I'll tell you what's going on. Mike. It was a pleasure to have you on our show. Thanks, we wish you the best success. And we're going to see each other next year because Mike has invited us to go back next year on a night fishing thing. Or even in July, I think we're going to maybe sneak one in, all right? Sneak a couple more in. Yeah, great, Ray. It's good to have you aboard. Thank you. All right. <laughs>